Welcome back to Sonic Frontiers. Something something intro text. Let's go. Bottom text. Let's do it. All right. Middle text. Uh, how you doing? No, I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Uh, upright text. Uh, three, two, one. Go. Uh, go. Oh. I gotta find Sage. There we go. Find... That's not so much birthday happening. Whew. That, 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 that does feel nice. That was a little, uh, a little much on the birthday. I did not appreciate that. It almost froze my Xbox. It was, it, it, it was a nice gesture, though. Oh, you yeah. know, it was, it was all right, but it's, it's, it's neat. I, I left yeah. some of the things on. Yeah, I've, I've got the, uh, I've still got the party outfit on. I've still got the party cocos going because they are they, they wild could've... at parties. They could have charged like eight dollars for this uh, this uh, cosmetic pack. We could have had to unlock it in a battle pass or a, a like a like a Sonic pass or something. Hey, Sega's been winning lately. Yeah, yeah they've had some they've had some pretty good wins. I won't lie. Did you hear the most recent story to come out? Speaking of Sega, no. Microsoft wanted to buy Sega. <laughs> Well, they wanted to buy a lot of stuff. You see, that's the thing, that they're good at buying companies, but they don't know how to make games. I know! So, so then they buy companies, they tell them how to make games, they don't know how to make games, so they tell them how to make games in the way they're not used to how to make games, so their games stink. And that's been a problem since the original Xbox. Like, there was barely anything for the Xbox. Now... Huh? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, I did read... No! I, I read something God funny yesterday, damn. too, speaking of... Uh, you know, games and exclusivity and all that. Uh, yes. I saw a uh, infographic that says, Sonic, uh, no, 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 I, go back, Sonic. I can't wait till Pikmin 4 comes out, so there can be as many Pikmin games as there are PS5 exclusives. I don't really mind it so much, because <laughs> I've seen how The Last of Us 1 plays. The thing about having a PS5 uh, exclusive is that, yeah, it'll run on PC as well. If, you, if you're into that, you spend all that money on that, on that machine. Might as well work, but... If you get a PS5, it'll work all the time. See, see that's the thing. I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, kind of a hipster when it comes to game exclusives. I don't really buy them that often. I just buy games that look interesting, and if they're on the console, Cause, cool. Because there aren't that many to buy. I know. Switch, Switch is the one that has any real exclusives we're talking about. Yeah. And uh, also, speaking of the industry, uh, there was a nice little... Nice little bit of information saying how much certain games cost to make. Uh, that's way too much fucking money for a goddamn video game that's overhyped as shit. And the only reason it's overhyped is because they want to make their money back. Shit. Oops. Like, I want to see the budget for Sonic Frontiers. I'm very curious in that. You see, certain games need to have, like, a certain budget in mind. That's why it's a budget. They have everything planned out for what they need to do for point A through point Z. It's it's hard to develop a game with Hollywood budget. It doesn't it just doesn't work like that. Two hundred million dollars. For for what? For The Last of Us Two, I think. And yeah. also Horizon Zero Dawn. Like fuck me, dude. Could have actually paid. It's your little own wonder why it comes. To, it's a little wonder why it comes to PC then. So I'm, I'm not too bothered by all my PS5 ex exclusive going to PC, you know, I, I lose nothing. Like, what, what good are exclusives? That just means that they're going to stay on this, uh... This oh, brick? One of those special things. <laughs> they're just going to stay on whatever console they are forever. Now, see, I, I kind of love the idea of a bunch of games coming to PC, because then more people can play it, especially if it's a game I really right. like. So when I see multi-platform releases, I'm like, hell yeah, everybody gets to it's play this fun little thing. Yeah, I can only see it as a positive. Exclusivity is just not a thing that really works these days, especially since, you know, everybody thinks games need to cost a hell of a bunch. There needs to be a reason for exclusivity. Like, you know, we, we designed the game based around the architecture of this one console. That's what keeps it exclusive. Like, you know, Metal Gear Solid 4. There's, there's, there's a lot of reasons why that game hasn't come to other consoles, because a lot of it was designed specifically, 100%, yeah. for PlayStation 3. 
They even mention how, oh, hey, we're on PlayStation 3, dual layer yeah. Blu-ray disc. Th there's a specific scene strictly for the PS3, so it had to stay there. Dude, yeah, kidding? The whole the whole fourth chapter of MGS4 was all about being on PS3. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, think I played that chapter. Eat my dick. Fuck those challenges. That's dumb. I did it. I circled a tree and got the challenge finished. I did it. What do you want? What do you want? A medal? Yes. Oh. Yes. Well, I, I, I would love a medal. I have low self esteem. Please. I, I don't. I don't have one at the moment. I'm sorry. You know. I could. I, I, could, I, I could go find one. I mean. I join you on these episodes, and you don't even bring a medal. And you know, if you're right. It's I'm fine. sorry. That's my fault. No, I should have. I should have thought better. You know, I need to be. I need. To, I need to be a better friend to you. Oh, you're right. And you know what? I will get you a medal. <gasps> Yay. I think I have a Medal of Honor game somewhere that you can have. Hell yeah, Medal of Honor. I've never played it. Yeah. It's, uh... Well, actually, the only real Medal of Honor I even, like, caught a ghost of a glimpse at was one on PlayStation. Back when those, those uh, modern military shooters of the day were, you know, kind of worth playing sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. You know what I kind of miss? Do you, do you remember the time in the early 2010s where devs were throwing darts at a dartboard just to see what would work, and we got Battlefield Bad Company, which was military shooter, yes, first-person shooty bang-bang, but also had a goddamn personality? <laughs> it, was, it was snarky. Everybody loves snark. I, <laughs> I like snark, at I, least. I, 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 mi fun. I miss those days because... You know, when PS3, 360, and uh, the Wii were out, Wild West when it came to a bunch of different games that were coming out. It was so fun just to see, like, oh, hey, this game is great. It's, it's like, secretly great, or it's amazingly trash. You never knew what you were going to get most times. I feel like uh, we're kind of getting into those uh, th those days again. You think so? If if we're if we're not there already, we are getting close to a day like that. Cause all these big all these big budget AAA games are failing. They're they are failing. They're taking like they're, five plus years to come out. They're they're taking too much money, too many years, and not enough gameplay because they gotta make their money back somehow. Mm -hmm. But if you look at, you know, not the AAA scene, which, you know, they do they do exist, believe it or not. <gasps> yes they do. If you look at the, at the at the indie scene, there's a whole lot of stuff going on. There's a whole lot of interesting stuff. How many times are we gonna sing the praise of Baba is you? I still can't believe that that simple little puzzle game hurts my brain to play because it's so well thought out and well done. It's like, a very highly conceptual game, yes. Like these puzzles, I I haven't been this <laughs> puzzled in years. <laughs> And it's a great feeling, especially when you solve that puzzle and you're just like, oh my god, that's awesome! I stopped playing it because, you know, there's a lot of uh, puzzles that you can do at any one time, and all of them have just stomped my brain into mush. Exactly, yes. Brain hurt. But I think I said before, that, that game has got to be, like, really good for engineers and game designers. Oh, definitely! It's uh, programmers, too. Because that Wait, deal... That deals in, in I, uh, programming I, code. I said engineers, you said game programmers. Oh, so really, well, you know, about any the same kind of, and any kind of engineer would probably get a kick out of it. I'm, I'm sure. If All you right, use a, let's go. If you use a computer, you'll like Baba's you. Hey, I use computers too. <laughs> this game's for me. What are the odds? Okay, I need to bring something to your attention if we're if we're still talking game industry for a little while. I hope nobody minds. Sure. It's, no, go ahead. It's an interesting topic. I always love talking video games. Uh, there is, uh, there's been a trend, and it's not a good trend, mind you, of showing off a game too early. And that realization came to me when From I realized... The Fable reveal? Well, not, not just that. I mean, that's disappointing, of course, but... Uh, no, actually, when we saw the last Nintendo Direct, how many of those games were announced and given release dates for this year because they're good and ready? And then you have a bunch well, of different games coming out in the big-budget scene where 
will announce it. It's not coming out for like five years, so enjoy your speculation. Because I gotta garner hype so that way they can get pre-orders, pre-orders, pre-orders. Well, I mean, pre-orders are what make the world go around. I don't care. Like especially Nintendo, if, it's, if it's not coming out in years and years and years. The Nintendo though, they they have the uh, shit. You know, they, they can't make the sexiest looking game, and people are saying, oh, oh, well, yeah, the PS, uh, the, 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 the Switch is on uh, its last legs, it's old technology, but there's still plenty of great games coming out for it because they focus on the game, not the graphics. Correct. The graphics are what are what cause all, all the issues. It's harder to program for. You need to hire more people. It's going to cost more money. It's going to take longer. But if you make a game that looks like it still belong on a late PS3 and early PS4, well then, and it takes like, what, two years? To make a nice, decent, 15-hour-long romp, and that's fun to play, and you got great ideas, and you plan it out, and you scoped it out, and everybody had a good time, and it was easy to develop for. Can you make some money back? Well, then, hey, look at that. Maybe that's the way gaming should go. This is why I still think it's funny that people thought the Switch was gonna bomb. <laughs> if, it, if, it did, if it didn't have the third-party support, if, it, if the indies... Like, if, if the bar for entry for indies wasn't, you know, uh... You know, what was was too high? I think it would have failed. Because uh, indies yeah, indies came flocking to the eShop, and uh, that's what drove up a lot of sales. And and uh, it was it was Switch versus Steam for a while. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, do we uh, do, our game made like eighty percent more on Switch than it did on Steam. So uh, yeah. So because there are so many games, it's easy to develop for Switch, and it's easy to make games for it, and it's easy to buy games on it. That's why the Switch wins. Well, you also it's said succeeds. barrier for uh, for entry. I I believe it's just, you know, sign your name on the dotted line, and there you go, you're in. That wouldn't go that far, but... I mean, it obviously it's not... Then again, I've seen some crap on the eShop. Uh, yes. How many, how many hentai games they have on the eShop? That blows me away, because I still remember the, the, the PG-13 Wii days, where nothing... <laughs> uh, barely anything got an M rating, and then you had Mad World come out, and it's just like, oh my god, see... Wii has hardcore games, and then no, nobody bought Mad World because, you know, everybody bought Wii's because... Hey, we uh, bought that. Hey, 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 we bought hey. Mad World. So, two guaranteed sales right there. We fucking bought Mad World, and we love the shit out of it. And then No More Heroes, like, th that was a huge deal for Nintendo, and then you, you go in the eShop today, and you can buy, like, five porn games or something like that. It's actually pretty crazy. Well, the Switch, I think, is also Nintendo opening up. They kind of have to has, these days. Yeah, Nintendo has always historically been a very closed-off company. Like, oh, if you want to make games, you know, we, we got to got to put our seal of approval on it. You got to do it our way. You got to, you know, uh, even in the NES days, uh, they were they were infamous for having very very strict mm -hmm. third-party rules and all that that they that they kept you know into the well into the modern age. But here, I think they've opened up. They loose they've loosened the reins a little bit. Switch is now uh, is now region free, for instance. It's the first uh, re oh. you know, region-free home console for Nintendo, that, I think. That's huge, actually. Mm -hmm. So I, I think they're opening up a bit more. They're making more collaborations. I mean, MLB The Show is on Switch. That's, that's a PlayStation hilarious. game. I know. No, I've made it to 4-4. I'm, I'm on some stage. All I have to do is get the S rank, and then I'm out of here. I, I don't even know what stage I'm on. I'm just, already, I'm just running through it. I mean, I've, I've, I've kind of given up hope of, of winning the race. Unless no, don't go give wrong up for... hope. See, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going through it, man. I'm just, I'm just going Have through more it. Have confidence in yourself. You've seen what happens in this race. You kidding me? Right. So, if, so, so if I, if I get stressed about it, if I, if I, you know, get, if I worry about uh, being behind, then I'm gonna get even more in my head, get more frustrated. But if I just say, you know what, whatever, it's just a race, I'll be a lot happier. And if I win, I'd be like, oh, how neat. Like, this isn't Smash 1v1. You don't have to fight for your life every single week. <laughs> well, what week. was that garbage? That was taking a couple of years off my life when you almost beat me with Pyra and Mithra. That's what that was. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really have not played Smash since we did 1v1. Well, because it was it was a, it was was done. We, we played it, everything. It was done. And frankly, I was done. I, I, I haven't picked up Smash since. Now, my, now I spend my uh, days on Street Fighter 6 now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, what? Don't be sorry. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and what I love is that everyone everyone I've uh, I've uh, heard talk about Street Fighter 6 is like, I feel like I can play a fighting game now. 
This is a bunch of poop. I just know I can't play Street Fighter. It has always been uh, too complex for my monkey brain. I know they simplified well, it, but that doesn't change things. It does. Mm. You don't need to rec like you don't need to have like you know the, the the crazy button recognition. You can just hit hit a button, then hit a button and down if you want to do that move. And hit a button and up. It's 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 simplified, but it's not it's not meant to be dumbed down for babies or whatever. That's why they call it the modern control. It's modern. See? This is because you know Street Fighter controls have been around since 1991. That's 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 that's, that's you you can make the argument that that's archaic. Because it is. Fuck. Well, it is, sure. Well, they also ha didn't have a lot of buttons to work with, but they did have arcade cabinets. So they had, like, what, eight to work with, I think? Eight, eight buttons, yeah. A couple control sticks. A lot sticks. of buttons. A lot. Why are all these levels so hard? Because it's the final item. That doesn't answer my question. That answers it not. It tells me where we are, it doesn't tell me why it's hard. Why is it so hard? Why is everything is so, hard? so hard? I want things to be easy forever. Can I just pay five bucks so that way I can just win already? <laughs> the worst! <laughs> ah. I mean, I paid 60 bucks for this game. Can I pay like like 10 bucks to not play any more of it? You know what? I, I, I love you buddy Capcom, but I hate that you put a buy to unlock everything option in there. Ugh. Because <laughs> idiots have money. They need to be an idiot not to take it. Back in my day, I unlocked everything. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that makes you a, 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 a fool, I guess. A, a sucker? I, I don't know. A, tr a tryhard, a sweaty, a nerd, I don't know. Hey, I enjoyed it. I had a fun time unlocking everything. Yeah, I'm trying to find ways to describe myself, too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I've... 100% in games is just in my blood. I go above and beyond when it's a game I really enjoy to go for that 100%, no matter how stupid it is. But basically, I'm saying every game I've LP'd, I've gone the extra mile to unlock everything. I just go for fun, I go for experiences. Stories that can stick with you and enrich your soul. And of course, just plain fun. Who on earth 100%s visual novels, and I've done it for multiples? Entire I do. series. I do. I don't oh, okay. visual novels. Well, that's because well, usually, sometimes. That's because like, you greatly whatever enjoy them. I, I, I'm a true ending guy. If I get true ending, I 100%ed it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, do, do it faster. Let's go. So, uh, on that topic, do you do, like, let's say there are alternate scenes. Not a, like, you go through the game, you get the true ending, but then there's a couple scenes that you haven't seen yet. Do you go back and get those? Do I need it for the true ending or the platinum? Let's say or you need it, just it for to the... Have... Well, I mean, then that just answers the question because I know you'll go for the plat. So yeah, th that'd be th that'd be the better question. If it's if it's for the plat, then I do it. Okay. If it's not, then I probably I probably won't. I've actually unless noticed it comes up, unless it comes up like naturally, but like I won't go out of my way. It's like oh, if I start the common route again, and if I do this route, this route, this route, this route, and this route, then I can get a special CG, which is well, I mean, not, not really not even a CG, more like just like some alternate dialogue for this one CG that I don't really get on my true run playthrough anyway. That I I, I I would not do that. Achievement hunting has done weird things to my brain. <laughs> I've, I've realized this after years of doing it. It's where I I'll... have learned to uh, pick my battles. Oh, same here, especially these days where games are huge. My time is valuable. Yes. And I want to make sure that I uh, do something that I can see myself actually doing and actually having fun with. Like, I still remember the day I uh, got all the achievements in the original Assassin's Creed. Worth no, it? No idea how you did that. Worth it? No. <laughs> Suc like, I felt good after succeeding, 
Because that was like the fifth time I had played that game because I missed one scene with Desmond or whatever his name is. Yeah, Desmond, that's the first guy. Yeah. And then just after that, it was uh, it was just collecting everything and killing all the bad dudes. So, yeah, it was kind of worth it. Hey, Niskel, I've got a hot tip for you on Borderlands 3. If you do LPs of all the Assassin's Creed games and get 100%, I'll tell you the tip. Game facts. Still one of the... Son of a bitch! One of the God. funniest comments I have ever gotten. It sticks with me forever. Like, that that feels like a 13-year-old. I feel like 13-year-old me would have done that, because you, you, you find game facts. Like, stumbling upon game facts for the first time, to me, felt like stumbling upon the Library of Alexandria. <laughs> Countless untold knowledge with that, so at my knowledge. fingertips. I can do anything. It's like, so, so I, I felt kind of powerful uh, finding game facts the first time. I was like, <laughs> I know everything. Every cheat code. Oh, God damn it. Every cheat code. Every single secret. I know it all. Well, there you go, I guess. You know what? Actually, I, I had a moment during an LP where I thought something was BS, and after I did it, and it wasn't BS, it was the most shocking thing I had ever seen. So when I did uh, Conquer's Pocket Tales, there wasn't a lot of documentation on b basically anything. There was, you know, instruction manuals that were put online. There was a bunch of, like, official artwork and everything. And some information, but the rest of it, I had to do myself. So when I made the guide showing off all the presents between the two different versions, that's all me. I had to find those. But... Uh, you're just you're just a Conquer Super fan. They should uh, bring you on board for the next game. Like, not only that, I went through so many message boards and different websites to try and, you know, make sure I had all the information I needed to talk about this game. Because it was a, it was a seven episode LP. It's not a lot of time to talk about some things. The one thing I'm extremely proud of for that LP is on a lone message board where the last update on this forum topic, like 15 years ago, was somebody talking about a secret ending rank that you can get if you beat the game in under four hours without saving. And I thought that was BS. So of course I did it, and it wasn't BS, and it was absolutely well, there, well, shocking. Well, there you go. Because nobody anything, else talked just, about it. You just proved that guy right. It's just insanity that on a desolate forum, I still found something of value. Ooh, what is this? Boop. That was just the... Use parry. I did it. I did it. I did it. Why is that a challenge? And why do they give you 60 seconds to do it? Hmm. Well, because it's challenging. Mm, is it, though? Is it really... Don't you think so? No. But maybe that's because I'm a super power gamer. God, how the fuck? Oh, I did it. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, oh, okay. I I, I did it with plenty of time to spare. Never mind. Okay, no, cool. no, right. no, 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 Sonic! Sonic! Right. Fucking stop! Fucking stop! <laughs> that sounds like Sonic happening over there. Jeez. That sounds like a lot of Sonic happening over there. Accidentally hit a speed boost and then you're just off a couple miles. He just mm. goes wherever he wants, or how automatic he wants to be. Ooh. Well, that's 4-4 four, four finally clear. That's a hey! long, that's a long go. That's a long boy. I don't think I found that one yet. And if I have, then I'm sorry. Ooh, I love these. These are always so fun. Press that X button, get that infinite combo. 142 combo. Actually, Bingo. 153. Woo. Get 300 damage. House close to 2,000. Ha! There's still more challenges on this ice lab. As well as an emerald. 
that the game wants me to go to now. An emerald? Bruh. Alright. Well, I mean, we could go for the emerald. Okay, so they call it the emerald because it is the emerald emerald, indeed. Dude, we heard you like emeralds, so we put emeralds in your emeralds and called them emeralds. And if it had its own cooking show, it'd be Emeril. Emeril, bam, yeah, I guess I was just thinking of that. Bam! I don't even make Emerald jokes. The only chef joke I know is making fun of Guy Fieri. I know doing the Gordon Ramsay impersonation, of course. I, uh, uh, Jamie Oliver is easy to make fun of. Paula Dean, but, you know, she's just toxic. <laughs> N Niskel, w when have you made a joke with Guy Fieri? Right here! I like to make Bobby Flay jokes. I hate Bobby Flay. <laughs> I barely know he's, he's, anything about the people you mentioned. <laughs> he's, uh... Well, I mean, I don't really, I don't really hate him, like, you like, know. Like, I know who Bobby Flay is, but I couldn't tell you a single thing about him. Like, I, I have a quote-unquote hate crush on him. Aw, oh, look at, Cause, look at cause UDJ. It's, I, 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 like, I have this, this headcanon that he's, like, just doing this, uh, beat Bobby Flay show where he brings on a cup, but, like, two, uh, chefs from Food Network find mm -hmm. local chefs, bring them onto the show, and then, mm -hmm. uh, they challenge Bobby Flay to, like, a cook-off, they... They cook a dish of, uh, like, the the two chefs go against one another, cooking, uh, something with an ingredient of Bobby Flay's choice, and the winner of that one gets to actually face off against Bobby Flay, where they face off against the, the challenger's dish of choice, and see if he can, they can actually beat Bobby Flay. I swear that show's rigged. Oh, most likely, yeah. Like, I have this headcanon that a chef tried to, uh, tried to be Bobby Flay and actually did did a great job but because the win to lose ratio for Flay was skewed this this season they had to change it so uh yeah Bobby wins this one like it's predetermined what the hell is this last thing there it is alright I got about three minutes left Oh, got it. Yeah. Sorry, I was doing a sound-based puzzle. Oh, I, 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 I thought you were... I was opening Discord, I thought something went wrong. Huh? Oh no. <laughs> Is he still there? Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Wait, you tricked me! You oh, fool! Dear. No! Oh, dear. I believe we've lost him. No! Hi, Elder Coco. I'm gonna give you some oh. shit. Square rings. 20 seconds! Oh, Jesus. I'm too fast for this. Alright, what else do we have around here? Shit. Is there a sage on this little mini island here? I hope there is, because I just... That's not what I wanted. I almost screwed that up, but I Damn didn't. It. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, spin dash kind of doesn't help sometimes. Or, was that a drop dash? That was not spin dash. Well, Can't. This better be for something. Oh, I've got infinite boost. That's neat. Well then, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go after you. How much time do we have left? You. Like a minute. Like a minute. I'm gonna. I I, I just got to a fight that calls itself a a, a, a ghost. <laughs> oh, you got the ghost. Okay, good luck. And and we'll call time after that. All right. Well, uh, I'm jumping into a stage. I'll give my one attempt, and that, that'll be it. How do I kill this thing? The ghost? Well, that works. Yeah. You can't attack it because it's a spooky ghost, so you gotta figure ah, something else out. I remember. Yep, there it is. I remember. 
I... Yeah. I remember, question mark? I miss, I missed up. What? Like I'm not a Ghostbuster? I, I messed up, but we're, we're, we're saving it, we're saving it, we're making it happen. Alright. He's a gamer, he's making it happen. I made it happen. Now we gotta make it happen a couple more times. Woohoo! Good job for making it happen, UDJ. Let's make more stuff happen. It's My time dude, making things happy. happen? It's time awesome. to be happening! Bro. Who's ready to be happening? Are you happening right now? I am happening! Holy shit, you need to call me happening right T. Now. James because I am happening, Daddy O. <laughs> Holy shit, that's awesome! Oh yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Look, look at it happening all over my screen like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great case of happening. What's going on? Where the fuck over there? Dude, I've got an extreme case of it happening right now. I don't know if it could be contained. Well, we're not done making it happen. Cause stuff's oh still God. happening! Holy stuff shit, is still Daniel. happening! It's fucking awesome! Hey guys, launch back up! Oh dear. That ain't good. Stop that. Stop stop doing that. Oh please let this be an all for one there. shot. Oh my Ooh. fucking god. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Help me. Oh god. Oh, oh god. god. Okay, got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Come on. I ah! haven't done that in so long. Mwah! Holy crap. And that... happened. Oh, is that time? The ha well, I mean, it's been time a minute and a half. Or did ago, you kill the you killed the ghost? I killed I killed the ghost and I'm I'm going to get my I'm going to get my gear. Thank you. So, I must be back in high school because that sight reading was beautiful. Huh? A little little orchestra joke there for you. I uh I just beat four seven in one shot, with all challenges done. Well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you Wait, gonna do about it, you band geek? Wait, four ah! seven. Four seven, yeah. How'd you get over there? Uh, that's what the sound puzzle was. It's in front of the gate. Oh. Yeah, there's a sound puzzle in front of the gate that you can do. Oh, I thought it was locked up by story. No. Oh, well. Uh, I'm all the way over here on- I'm over here on this island, I'm gonna see whatever this, uh... I'm, I'm gonna probably be heading over to 4 or 5 now. Hey, good luck. I just got Starfall, but I'm not- I'm not doing anything, I'm just gonna... Wait right here. Well, I think I'll just stand right here too, and, uh, we'll keep standing here until next time on Sonic Frontiers. Awesome. Oh, hold on. Just got a- the theme of Starfall Island. Okay, that's- that's not an interesting theme. Give me a better theme, Sonic Frontiers, please. Do you got a better theme yet? No. But we're done. <laughs> well, I got a better theme for you. It's called the closing credits. See you next time! <laughs> <laughs>